What's up guys, right now we're in Kumamoto City in Kyushu, Japan's third biggest island. Now, we just made it to our beautiful accommodation, it's already night time, but tomorrow we're gonna go explore Kumamoto City and the super volcano region of Aso. And I'm here with my buddy, Ubu, how's it going? Yeah. Ubu's got his own YouTube channel too, um, I'll put it in the link in the description box, so if you're interested about J League, his channel is about J League and, yeah, and gambling. J League gambling, so yeah. go check it out if you're interested. So Ubu, do you know who this is? Oh yes, I know. This is Kumamon. Exactly, this oh, is yeah. Kumamon. Kumamon is worth a billion and a half dollars to the local economy. It's absolutely amazing if you think about it. Now, tomorrow, we're gonna go explore Kumamoto and the super volcano region of Aso. So, we better get some rest tonight. Okay. Okay. So, let's explore Kumamoto tomorrow. So guys, we just made it to Kumamoto City office. On the 14th floor, we have a big observatory and we can see the beautiful Kumamoto castle in the background. It's a free observatory, so I really recommend coming here if you ever plan a trip to Kumamoto City. So in 2016, it was April 14th, there was a, a big earthquake and the castle itself was completely destroyed. 30% of the castle was destroyed and they're fixing it right now. The castle itself, the main part of the castle is already done, but the entire park to fix it it's going to take until 2036. That's 20 years after the earthquake. So people are doing their best. They're putting a lot of effort into fixing Kumamoto's symbol. It's very beautiful. You know, I've been to many castles in Japan. For example, Himeji, Matsumoto, uh, Hikone, many castles. But this castle, Kumamoto, it's got its own way of beauty. It's very beautiful. This sparks light in my heart. It's really good. So this is Kenta. We played soccer in high school. We're best friends. So. Kento, what do you think of Kumamoto Castle? Where does it take place in your rankings of um, castles in Japan? Uh, I think the iconic black is super cool. The iconic black. For example, Matsumoto Castle is also very black and it's very beautiful. But this, it has a little different taste. It's got white and black mixed. So Ubu, for what reason would you come to Kumamoto? Mm, Kumamoto Castle? Yeah. Aso. So next up, we're going to Mount Aso. Mount Aso is an active volcano in the center of Kyushu, which most recently erupted in 2021 and 2016. Many experts say it's the most dangerous volcano on planet Earth, and its caldera ranks among the world's largest with a diameter of up to 25 kilometers. You can literally see the caldera from space. Today, we're gonna to be exploring the entire region of Mount Aso, but unfortunately, because of the eruption one month prior to our visit, we will not be able to visit Nakadake, which is the center of the mountain. But still, there's a lot to see in Mount Aso, so I hope you enjoy. Do you like driving, Ubu? Uh, so-so. 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 So-so, so, so, okay. <laughs> Okay guys, so we just made it to Mount Aso. This is Kusa Senrigahama. It's very beautiful, it's very vast. You can see horses down below. This is November, it's very brownish, but in the summertime, it becomes very green, and it's a completely different view. It's very beautiful in the summer too. So Hugo, what do you say to this view? Oh, I see. <laughs> that is Nakadake over there. It's the most active volcano in Japan. And you can see smoke coming out of it right now.
All right, time to climb up this little hill. That is the top. Over. Oh, <laughs> 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 The last bit. This is mind-blowing. So guys, we made it to the South Aso side of Mount Aso. This is an observatory of the entire South Aso area. And in the background you can see the high mountains. Those are um, the edges of the caldera. So if you think about it, the caldera is a mind-blowing size. You can't believe how big Mount Aso is. It literally is a super volcano. And in South Aso, there is um, the station that has the longest name in all of Japan. And it's called... Sorry. What is it called? It's called Minami Asosui no Umariru Satohakusui Kogen Eki. That's the name of a station, okay? So Ubu, Ubu, repeat after me, okay? okay. Here we go. Minami Asosui no Umariru Satohakusui Kogen Eki. Minami Asosui no Umariru Tennen. Ah! Ah! Come on, repeat after me! Minami Asosui no Umariru Satohakusui Kogen Eki. Minami Asosui no Umariru Satohakusui Kogen Eki. Hakusui Kogen Eki. Minami Asosui no Umariru Sato. Oh, whatever. Okay. Well, technically, it's just the longest station, the longest name of all the stations in Japan. It's pretty amazing. It's 24 characters. Amazing. All right. So, without further ado, let's go explore South Aso, shall we? Let's go. All right. Let's go. Alright guys, we just settled in at a roadside station in South Aso. Kumamon Paper Tales says Kumamon Surprise. Waiting for our food right now. Soba is there anywhere? Soba, right? Soba. Okay guys, so right now we came to a place called Shirakawa Suigen. This water is supposed to be very, very clean. Let's see how the water tastes. How is the water? Oh, super cool. Oh, super cool. <laughs> very nice. Thank you. How is the water, Yugo? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, super clear. <laughs> All right, guys, this is two liters of Shirakawa Suigen's water. It should be very yummy. Unfortunately, I drew the short straw, so I'm gonna see if I can drink this off. All right, here I go. Nice job. <laughs> nice nice try. No way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I went about 40%. That's about 800 milliliters. How's that? <laughs> nice white. Thank you. 
next time, maybe. Alright guys, this is Hugo's turn. Here we go. Let's see how much you can drink, Hugo. Pretty fast, Hugo. Fighting, fighting. I think you're I think you're better than me. Oh, oh, oh you okay, you okay. Oh, you okay. <laughs> Are you okay, Hugo? Super water. <laughs> <laughs> Hugo just went to the toilet. All right, next stop, it's Kenta's turn. Yeah. Let's see how much you can drink. Uh, all. All. Yeah. Two liters. Come on. All right. Show us. Show your guts. <laughs> you give up? Yeah. Okay, let's oh. see. Maybe 35%? Uh, uh, Ubu, aren't you gonna drink? I wanna see you drink two liters of water. Please, please, give it a shot. Come on. Alright, last up is Ubu. Let's see how much you can drink, Ubu. Alright, come on, show us. Two liters. Go, go, go. <laughs> so maybe about 20%. Oh, you want to go vomit? Go vomit. Go <laughs> <laughs> you know, we just did a drinking challenge here, but the water was genuinely yummy. I mean, I rarely use the word yummy for water, but this water was yummy. It was kind of not sweet, but it had a nice mineral water taste. Kind of hard to explain, but it was nice. So guys, next up we are at Kumano Imasu Jinja. It's supposed to be a very uh, beautiful shrine. So we're gonna go check this out. Let's go, come on. So guys, right now we're at a place called Kamishikimi Kumano Imasu Shrine. It's a very difficult name, but it's very beautiful. Look at this. Ubu, how do you feel? Do you feel tired? Fucking tired. Fucking tired. Right, right. Look at all these stairs. Your foot is sore. Mine, mine too. Ah. Okay guys, we just made it to Dai Combo. <laughs> this is supposed to be the best view of Mount Aso, but we're a little bit late for sunset, so we're running. Hurry up. Come on. Woo. Do the best view, come on! Run as fast as you can! <laughs> Daikambo in Japanese. What a view!
対偶然キックです<笑>何回見てもいやーすごいね中だけどがやばいまっすぐじゃない中だけあれかグランドキャニオン You can see the edges of the caldera, which are very high. You're not going to believe how big Mount Aso is. It's hard to believe because Nakadake is in the middle right here. Right here, right here. And the greater caldera is over here. So you can literally see Mount Aso's caldera from space or on Google Maps. Take a look. Fucking cold right now, and we're gonna come here tomorrow too. We came here today to see the beautiful sunset. Well, obviously, and unfortunately, we didn't make it for sunset, but tomorrow we're gonna see this place in absolute daylight. That's what we hope to do. All right, so guys, we're gonna come here tomorrow again. So, thank you for watching today's bit. I'll see you guys in the next bit. Goodbye. Well, guys, we made it to Dai Kumbo again. Um, it's 11 a.m., it's very beautiful. You can see Nakadake in the back very well. Unlike last night, it's very bright, so we got a great view. So, what do you think, Ubu? It's a cool, super cool. <laughs> super, oh, cool. super good view, come on. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it's a great view.、Um, I definitely recommend this place, Dai Kambo, if, if you ever make a trip to Kumamoto or Aso. So, put it in your bucket list, okay? Anyways, guys, thank you for watching our trip to Kumamoto.、Um, thank you from Ubu too. Please subscribe to. Channel. Yeah, please subscribe、yeah. to Ubu's channel because he has a good channel, right? Yes. Alright, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel too, okay? Not just his channel, but my channel too, okay? Okay. Yeah, alright, thank you. Goodbye. See you in the next video. <laughs> I'm Yuko. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Alright. Bye bye, d o u b l e a h so good.